So today uh, we're gonna be doing some work together. We've had a few very exciting deliveries over the past few days um, for the next part of the van for us to live in. So I guess the first thing to show you that we got is this. Now I've got to give credit to someone, a friend of mine, friend of yours, Mr. Gadget John and Mandy, of course, they got this and we followed their recommendation. We got a TV! <laughs> We got a cello, is that how you say it? Yep. 24 inch TV with a DVD on the side. So I'm crazy excited to fit that today. It's gonna go somewhere up there. And we have bought a couple of extra bits for this to help us with the install. Do you wanna show them what we've got? Yeah, so uh, obviously next important thing is we've got a wall mount. Um, so this, the plan is that the TV is gonna go on the other side of the wardrobe. So you can watch the TV from the bed, you can swivel it around and watch it from the sofa, or the front chair, what have you. You should be able to swivel it around to face wherever you are on the van. I'm hoping. It's going to be interesting how we uh, install this. So as well as the TV and the TV stand, we've also ordered the power cable. We've got to order a 12 volt power cable for this TV. We've ordered uh, some, oh, I left them inside actually, some sockets, to uh, cigarette lighter sockets to be able to power it. Um, and I've ordered some cabling as well, and something else we've ordered in, in order to watch anything on this is... A fire stick. We bought an Amazon fire stick. Other brands are available. So yeah, I think this just plugs into the HDMI port, uh, and it also gets its power from the USB port on the telly as well. So I'm told, so we will find out if it all works today. But I think in total, what do we, what do we spend? Um, well, the TV uh, was on offer, so that was £137 from Amazon. 137 I think the wall mount was about £22. Uh, the fire stick was £40. And then there was a tenner spent on, like, um, the, um, the cigarette, cigarette ports. ports yeah. And then another tenner bought, I think, on spent on the 12-volt um, charger. So you're looking at... A little over two hundred pound, um, but we thought as, as we're moving into the van, we're going to want some of our comforts. We're not going to want to talk to each other all the time. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, we wanted a little bit of normality in our van, so we wanted a nice TV so we can watch films. And we are massive film buffs. We have a huge library of DVDs and Blu-rays. Hence why we got the DVD version. It, you can get the one without the DVD version, which is obviously a little cheaper. Yeah, but this one you can plug it, put a DVD in the side. So that's going to be very cool. So we can just take, when we move into the van, we can just get a big wallet. We already have the wallet, don't we? With, so we can carry hundreds of DVDs in this sort of zip lock wallet thing. So we'll be able to watch films as we do every night when we move into the van. So yes, that is why we've got this. So hopefully it's not too big for the van. I'm sure those words will be uttered by my wife at some point this, today. It, I think it is going to be quite big. It's going to fill up that void when it's facing this way. Mm. It can fold right way around to face the bed. And I think it, we can also fold it against the uh, side, side wall of the van. Let's get started, shall we? Let's. All right, see you in a minute. <laughs> this should be the easy part. <laughs> I can't even open Shall we do a, a how to <laughs> unbox the unboxing? What's that? Have you done it? <laughs> Struggling. Okay. <laughs> My delicate little fingers. Your little girly fingers. <laughs> it does feel heavy, you said. Yeah, it does, it does feel very heavy. Okay, there's the instructions. I'll keep those. We don't need those. That's why I hold them. <laughs> oh, that's weighty. Even the, oh, hang on. I was going to say, even the box is heavy, but there's a load of bits in here. <laughs> the uh, bracket. Oh, that is well heavy, actually. Yeah, I told you. It's so stiff. It will be, even until you get the weight of the TV on it, and then... Uh, yeah? So there's loads of different positions. Uh, Why do you want to open it fully, do you? Uh, just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you've got a bit of an angle there as well, so you can angle it up and down a little bit. It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, one thing I like about this, because I found, I was looking at loads, is it's got loads of it's got three four five six seven holes that you can mount it to the wall with so it's going to be extra strong and i'm going to put a big piece of so it's going to go on the wardrobe i'm going to put a big sheet of um i think osb or ply inside the wardrobe so i can fix through 
you know, that as well. So it would, hopefully it would be extra strong. But yeah, like I said, got loads of holes on this and this feels really heavy duty. This is again, a recommendation of Gadget John. So thanks, John. Should we offer it up and see how it looks? Yeah. Test, test fit. So for bedroom sleeping mode, it's gonna be No, it won't oh go there. Oh my goodness. That fits so much better than I thought. No, no. Yeah, but think about when the TV's on. Yeah, yeah, true. So, you would have to have it probably out like this. That's fine. Because the TV's, or maybe at an angle, because the TV's going to be like sticking over the edges, isn't it? So we've kind of chosen this spot, but it's not like the most suitable because it's a small space, but so if we're viewing TV in bed, we'll have the TV here facing Becca and that's going to sit like that. And then if we want to view it from the living area or from the front of the room, we can turn the TV to face this way and it folds against the wall kind of, but it's just a case of whether or not it's going to affect us sleeping, getting in and out of bed. So we're just going to fit it, live with it and see how we go. But it's not the most suitable, is it? No, it will be. It should be fine for when you're actually watching TV. The problem is when you're sleeping, mm. because it will it will be in this area, and I sleep this side of the bed, which is where it's going to be, and I can see myself if it's there, like if I'm kicking around in the night, which yeah, I have a tendency to do. I'm going to hit it. It's going to wake me up. It's going to annoy me. There's going to be words. <laughs> I was hoping the TV would fold around to be flat against this wardrobe so we can, it's not going to affect us sleeping. Anyway, we're going to give it a go. Try and fit it. Yeah. So, inside I used a bit of OSB, which isn't pretty, but you can see here. Use what, use what washers I had and a bit of OSB as a sort of spreader plate. So rather than just have the TV weight on a couple of rows of tongue and groove, it's now the whole weight is spread across about one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, so hopefully that'll that'll be a lot better doing it that way. I just haven't got the right bolts to mount it to the TV. This is the bracket again. These just don't go deep enough. These are the ones that came with it. These are the bolts that came with the TV. These bolts are the ones I bought thinking they would be short enough, but they're not having a very stressful time with what I thought was going to be a simple job. <laughs> Ugh. Had a bit of a stressful day yesterday with all this. Ugh. Anyway, the TV doesn't just the TV didn't come with the right bolts. I, I think I'm told that the TV comes with, with the wall mounted bolts in the TV normally, but I didn't get any. So I believe I've just bought the right bolts. Just took another drive to being here. I'm hoping that these are gonna be right. Hopefully these are gonna be short enough. If not, I'm gonna use a few washers. I was also trying to get some spring washers, but I just couldn't find anything I wanted in being cute this morning. Come on, be short enough.
finally, we're getting somewhere. <sighs> yeah, I thought it would be a nice simple job this TV install, but it's not. Where the wall hanger is on the wall, on the wardrobe, I had to, I wanted a bit, of, I put a big sheet of, I put a bit of OSB inside it. There was a shelf at the top of the wardrobe which I had to bust, break to get, to be able to put that OSB behind it. So I've got to make another shelf right there. It's not been as fun as I thought this job. My van is a complete mess. But now I think I can put this TV on the hanger. There we go. All right. Van is a mess now. <sighs> TV's pretty cool. So I imagine it will probably stay in that position while driving around. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can put it into the middle, facing either way, facing the bed or facing the front of the van. Bedroom viewing. Living room viewing. Van. Uh, anyway, TV. It, um, yeah. Pretty cool. I'll show you around the back. I've just wired up a cigarette lighter. So I've got to cut these zip ties off, but I've zip tied uh, this power cable to here and to here. Oh. And I've got to cut this zip tie off here. Made a cigarette lighter port here, cigarette lighter socket here. Um, not only we, so we could also unplug the TV and charge phones and stuff from up here if we want to. I've got a little switch on there on and off so we'll know it's got a light on it so we'll know if it's left on i've got to run some wires to the back of it now which is this is part of my bedroom led lights so i've got to run some wires from here to the battery and those cables haven't arrived yet um i've ordered some slightly thicker cables than normal for this tv not that it uses anything but i didn't want to use my i've only got 10 amp wire here so i'll put at least some 25 amp rated cable for this but I tried it yesterday and didn't even use an amp of power this TV so right um snip those things off now I want to show you the Amazon fire stick this is the Amazon fire stick basically turns any, any TV into a smart TV as long as you've got a HDMI port I'll show you Where is it? Ah! There it is. That is it. You plug that into the HDMI port. Plug that into the HDMI port. Don't know if that's going to focus or not. And uh, this needs power as well. It's got a little micro USB there. Apparently, it gets it gets enough power from the USB port on the side of the telly. So, I'll need that. got a remote control with it which also has Alexa on it so you can speak to your remote and control the fire stick control what the TV's doing play Luke's van life on YouTube and it should work so my HDMI port on the telly is here but if I don't want this to stick lower I can use this so I can sort of bend it up a bit which is what I'm gonna probably do zip tie it onto here somewhere let's have a go
Hmm. Not quite long enough cable. I'd like to have tucked it up here somewhere. I could just zip tie it like that. Not very neat. Got to cut off all these zip ties, but yeah, just zip tied the Amazon Fire Stick there. That plugs, that gets its power from the USB port on the telly and it's plugged into the HDMI port. Hmm, getting closer, getting close to trying it up, firing it up now. Uh, a bit, little bit neater now. Cut all the zip ties off, zip tied the cables together and tucked them in behind the TV mount. Ooh, get in there, get in there. Get in there. I know you all want to be a part of this bit. This bit. Right, as I'm really impatient, I've run an extension lead from the from the house, so I can try it all on the mains. Let's have a go. Oh. Oh, right, Kelly. What I want to do is source. Source. Let's go down to HDMI. Maybe I need to switch. <coughs> Have to go and get the Wi-Fi code. Right, let's enter the Wi-Fi code. Flipping like I'm hot now. I'll be very surprised if it manages to connect to my Wi-Fi from inside this van. Because I can never get any Wi-Fi on my phone because of how well insulated it is. It says connection successful. I realize that I'm gonna need a fan up in the bedroom area. So I think I will get a, I am gonna get a skylight here, hopefully with a, like a, a, maybe with one of the Max fans. But yeah, it's hot up here right now. Right, uh, okay, select. All of the apps you want and then download them at the end. Get started. Which popular services do you want? Okay. I've connected to my phone hotspot. Hey! Open YouTube. Here's YouTube. <laughs> Luke from Luke's Van Life. Okay, so clearly I'm gonna have to get some kind of speakers in here because the, the speaker on the TV isn't amazing. <sighs> oh, really just need to get, really just need to get my own Van Wi Fi now. Because I don't have an unlimited data plan on my current phone, which is the internet I'm using. It's pretty damn cool, this thing. Alexa, watch Gadget John on YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. Big thank you to John, who did the review on this TV for me. There he is! What's the weather going to be like in West Sussex this week? I just need some cable in to arrive. It's going to be here today or tomorrow, and then I can wire it up to my 12 volt system. Cable arrived. Twin core, red and black. 2 mil, 25 amp rated cable. So I need to run it from the fuse box to the cigarette lighter socket thing. And then that will be it done. There we go. I didn't bother filming all the wiring. It is such a humid day. 
so hot and bothered so I just did it just got it done got the job done quickly and it's done so that TV is currently using can you see that 0 0.50 0 0.60 not even an amp it's using such low draw I'm really really impressed with it and the picture quality is amazing oh so cool so happy with this TV if anyone knows of any um, small rechargeable Bluetooth speakers that are quite good quality let me know I can't be bothered to wire in speakers all around the van for it I may end up doing it but what if at first I'm gonna try and find a little Bluetooth speaker? I got some Bluetooth headphones, which I managed to use on it yesterday. The Fire Stick's got Bluetooth capabilities, so yeah, I can connect my wireless headphones to it. And every oh, such a cool, cool toy. Anyway, I can't rate it enough. This is not a sponsored video or anything. Uh, my wife and I paid for these for this TV and Fire Stick, but yeah, so happy with it. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, thanks for watching.